Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest dev and beta channel inside of preview builds. And the builds were made available late last week on Friday in my part of the world. And for the dev channel, we get build 26,220.5790. And for the beta channel, we get build 26,120.5790. And both builds are give or take more or less mirror images of one another once again. Now, just a quick video to give you a quick overview as to what's new in these latest builds. Now, first of all, Microsoft says it's introducing fluid dictation in voice access. And it comes as no surprise, this is for Copilot Plus PCs, where, like it or not, Microsoft seems to be focusing a lot of their attention of late. And Microsoft says that fluid dictation is a new feature in voice access that makes voice-based dictation smoother and smarter. It automatically corrects grammar, punctuation, and filler words as you speak, reducing the need for manual editing. This experience, Microsoft says, is powered by on-device small language models, SLMs for short, to ensure fast and private processing. And to use it, you would launch voice access and complete setup if you're a first-time user. Fluid dictation is enabled by default and you can check or toggle it via the settings, fly out in the top right corner, or simply say, turn on off fluid dictation. And Microsoft says that it works in any text app, but is disabled in secure fields like passwords or pins to protect your privacy and is currently available in all English locales and is available as mentioned on all Copilot Plus PCs. And then the next new feature once again comes as no surprise for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft says it's making Windows Studio effects available on additional cameras. So unsupported Copilot Plus PCs, it's rolling out the ability to use studio effects, AI-powered camera enhancements with an additional alternative camera such as a USB webcam or your laptop's built-in rear camera. So to get started, Microsoft says you would navigate to settings, Bluetooth and devices, cameras, and select your preferred camera from the connected cameras list and then Open the advanced camera options menu to find the new use windows studio effects toggle and then once enabled you can now access and adjust studio effects directly from the camera settings page or via the quick settings menu in the taskbar. And then just to mention the next one, it's regarding the new AI agent in settings for Copilot Plus PCs where Microsoft says it's beginning to roll out the new agent in settings experience to Windows insiders with their primary display language is set to French, which previously was not the case. And then the next um, new feature is for File Explorer, where Microsoft says, where File Explorer Home now offers on-hover actions for faster file management, hovering over a file with your mouse in File Explorer Home will display commands like open file location and ask Copilot about this file. Microsoft says you will be able to try out the Copilot integration and attach files easily. This experience currently only works if you're signed in with a Microsoft account. Work or school account support is coming in a future flight and this change is not yet rolling out, it says, to insiders in the EEA, the European Economic Area. And the last new feature I'm just going to mention, Microsoft says advanced settings will revert to the previous four developers after updating to this build. This change will come back soon and then over and above and then over and above the new features, as always, we get some fixes and then we get known issues because this is still early days and these are still preview builds. So that's more or less what's new, guys, in last week's Dev and Beta channel, Insider Preview Builds. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.